What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey you guys. And right now we're at episode 8 of season 3 of Lost. This one is called Flashes Before Your Eyes. <laughs> Last episode, Desmond was able to predict the future. We'll see the future. So <laughs> he uh, saw that Locke was going to give a speech. And he also saw that uh, if he didn't create a... Uh, what you want to call it? Something for a uh, lightning to hit that it would have damaged Claire's uh, tent with her What's baby. What's it called? A conduit? Something like that. There you go. Something of that nature. All right, let's go ahead and get into this one. Oh, and um, Sawyer and Kate and Carl are headed back to the island. Let me say Carl one more time. <laughs> I'm not gonna know who that guy's name is. <laughs> Carl. Dude, I don't know about this. See, you're looking at this all wrong. He would want us to do this. He'd want us to ransack his tent and take his stash? Yeah, that sounds exactly like Sawyer. Well, we stole all this in the first place. I mean, people need food. They need medical supplies. They need shocking amounts of pornography. Mm -hmm. Charlie. Oh. There's Mondo. I need you to come with me. You guys find Echo? Both here. What happened? Echo is dead. We found his body in the jungle. Buried him yesterday. How did he die? The island killed him. Which means the island killed him. You know what it means. With the doctor gone, the camp's on edge enough without people having to worry about what's out here in the jungle. They're going to look to you two to see how to react. So when I tell everyone what happened, I need you to uh, help keep things calm. He gonna, he gonna keep a close eye on you. Are you okay? Hey guys, what's wrong with this? But didn't, he, didn't his body disappear? Echo? I don't recall. Okay, never mind then. Out there. Is that Claire? That's the uh, Claire. French woman. It's Claire. She just went for a walk. I offered to watch the baby. Yep. Wow. swimming almost every day and the undertow just grabbed me. I mean, if, if you haven't... Right. I thought you were only going to be five minutes. Aaron's starving. Yeah, um, sorry. I, anyway, I, I just really wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Look, if the bearded wonder could predict the future, he wouldn't have ended up here, would he? Whatever happened to him, we're gonna have to find out what it is. You do realize we have no plan before you even come up with this, dude. Oh, so all the heroin is gone. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to get him really bloody drunk. 
Oh my God, Charlie is getting my dog more memories. He ain't been drinking this whole after since he been back. Mm -mm. Since he done came back and been employed. This morning, I'm sorry I wasn't more grateful. Thank you for helping Claire not drown. No harm, man. Brought a peace offering. Don't make the truce official. Thanks, but no. I spent a wee bit too much time drunk because of late. Too good for his brother. All right, that's fine. We'll take our drink, go somewhere else. What kind of whiskey is that? It's, uh... Just says McCutcheon. <laughs> All right then. Let's have it. Not a bottle, brother. If you've come to drink, let's drink. Hey, let's drink. Let me ask you something. Any of the bell. How'd you know Claire was drowning? I could hear her calling for help. I know you did. You're like a mile away. <laughs> well, I suppose I'm, I've got good hearing. <laughs> you, uh, hear the lightning as well. Excuse me? The lightning. Just by chance, you pitch your little rod outside Claire's tent. Oh, well, he has been, been protecting her. Strikes. <laughs> Thanks for the drink, pal. Hey, I don't know what you're doing. You best tell us. Oi! Yeah, because you turned some key that makes you a hero. No hero, brother. I don't know how you're doing, what it is you're doing, but I know a coward when I see one. Yeah. You don't want to know what happened to me. I don't want to know. Get him off! You don't want to know. Get him off! You don't want to know. result of combining ladders, painting the ceiling, and alcohol. Are you okay? Are you nauseous? This is my flat. Mm-hmm. Although, if you want me to feel at home here, you might start calling it our flat. How many fingers, Des? No, look at me. What's wrong? Absolutely nothing. Thanks. Oh, hang on. on your neck. Uh -huh. How's that concussion? Oh, my severe head injury is a small price to pay for the pleasure of having you move into my humble <sighs> is rat trap accurate? Uh -uh. You know you don't really need a job from my father, Des. It's not about the job. I want him to respect me. I respect you, he shall. But if for some reason he's too daft to see how brilliant you are, it's not the end of the world. What did you say? Here you go, Dad. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, uh... Just had a bit of a deja vu, that's all. Excuse me. What did you say? I said delivery for 815. Mr. Hume, Mr. Widmore is ready for you. Because he met with the daddy already. He didn't tell me you were an actor, Desmond. Oh, uh, no, it's actually set design okay. for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Impressive. You didn't graduate from university? No, sir. I had to look after my three brothers after my father. Any military experience? No, sir. Wake up!